we. Messrs Toshni Balanudstri's Private Limited Ajmer present your new Mirian UK make. Midrange infrared wavelength. M560 camera series. There are extreme process conditions where conventional monitoring systems surveillance cameras do not perform as desired. We have developed this camera considering the regular problems faced by the power generation units. Unpredictable serious problems start with small issues and that can be monitored by the special camera which can be monitored in the control room to take preventive actions. Very first question in your mind will be who Messrs Mirian Technologies is and what IT deals in. Mirian, UK Formerly ISD slash Quantec Established in 1955 Mirian, UK is a well-established and a biggest manufacturer of camera systems with more than 60 years experience for critical applications like high temperature nuclear military homeland security medical and industrial markets who we are and with Messrs Mirian what we are dealing in we are MS Toshnival Industries Private Limited TIPL an ISO certified company founded in 1959 a leading manufacturer of quality instruments in technical collaboration with world reputed instrumentation companies we are authorized dealer with Messrs Mirian since last 30 years and over 2500 systems worldwide amp 550 installations in India and cement power and steel applications what is this new M560 camera series based on this camera utilizes modern solid-state IR technology in combination with special filtering techniques to develop through flame viewing monitoring it is having capabilities and ability to view into boilers with high dust or particular loading what are the reasons behind the M560 camera launch let us figure it out by understanding the uses of it one by one in detail huge buildup of bottom ash inside the boiler occurs around 16 meters elevation so in a coal-fired boiler can this camera monitor the bottom clinker bridge buildup a soot blower is a device for removing the soot that is deposited on the internal furnace tubes of a boiler during combustion to prevent plugging of the gas passes and maintain boiler efficiency so can the soot blowing operation be monitored with this camera accumulation of slagging deposits or caking up of the outside of the tubes to monitor such buildups between cleaning operations and to warn operators of potentially dangerous situations if large formations gets created can this camera monitor cake buildup on superheater tubes in coal-fired power boiler The ash accumulates to create a stony buildup on the furnace walls of the boiler, known as slag. This slag may also fuse to the fire side of the boiler tube, preventing sufficient heat transfer. Can this camera monitor water wall tube or slag buildup on it? Due to some internal unbalanced furnace pressurization, hot slag clinker can come out through the manhole door. Manpower and workers supervising the clinker removal job may get injured or life loss can occur. Also in absence of proper monitoring, such applications are very risky due to malfunctioning and prone to the boiler structure. 
building and the safety of the people working in that area. M560, um, obviously, uh, depending on what exactly um, your application requires view the viewing of, um, most commonly we find it's bed profile monitoring, um, uh, especially under all load conditions. Uh, obviously quite tricky with uh, with certain applications where um, there's, there's limited to no visibility to the naked eye or any, vis or any visible light. Um, uh, hence, this camera um, will will see through the the particulate and the dust to to monitor um, the bed profile. Uh, I guess uh, a lot of you will probably be interested in uh, not only boiler walls uh, flagging and bridging, um, certainly across the the superheater tubes. Um, we found the the M560 is uh, quite efficient in in identifying any kind of build up. Uh, also allows for any kind of um, soot blowing applications to be carried out while live monitoring uh, these these um, images. Um, uh, obviously, thirdly, you can monitor the, the any of the air imports, liquor guns in in um, boilers, and uh, any other sort of uh, aspect of uh, of the applications. As I already mentioned about the superheated tubes, um, I think I've pretty much covered most of that. Um, critically, though, it's also uh, proved effective in uh, in coal-fired plants, um, which I think uh, a lot of you are quite interested in. Uh, I've got some uh, video images um, in this uh, presentation uh, in uh, coal-fired plants. Um, what I do is, uh, well, in fact. Um, Priyanka or Anna will have the presentation already and they'll be able to share that with you later if you need to see those videos in sort of a better better quality. So I don't know how well they will show on the uh, on the presentation at the moment. Uh, so this is just an extract of the data sheet for the M560. Uh, I won't go through everything um, because it's, it's available. We can send it. It's on our website uh, at mirian.com. Um, but it gives you a, a reasonably detailed um, spec sheet of, of the M560 uh, with all of the um, options and, uh, and different characteristics. Again, just some more, um, more details. Obviously here we've got the, the lens lengths. Um, what we found is in the, in the, certainly in the power industry that the penetrations can be quite thick sometimes, not necessarily the wall, but just the uh, the location of the, the cameras generally need a, a slightly longer lens than normal. So these are inches, so 72 inches, 60 inches, 48 inches. So uh, and uh, not only that, we can set the field of view depending on how far you are viewing, what you need to view um, with uh, different lenses. This could all be... Um, decided either by a site demonstration, which um, shortly we'll be sending out uh, a demo unit to Tosh Noir, um, who uh, will be able to provide any demonstrations where possible. Uh, and certainly it would, be, it would allow us to fine tune the exact requirement um, by actually having a, a live demonstration. Um, so hopefully that will be of, uh, of interest. So this is, uh, this is the picture of a this is worth a video of a 560 um, but the next video um, we'll have some uh, uh, labels on uh, you'll see it's a monochrome monochrome image um, we offer a, ca a, a calico unit which is a colorizer uh, if required we found in a, a lot of locations that color is not necessarily required but um, if you if you think it will then we offer a, a, a processor that will colorize these images uh, in addition to providing um, uh, pyrometry and temperature measurement. Um, if I go to the next video and play this.
So you'll see, um, this is just a live image. You can see here is uh, monitoring the wall build up here. This is liquor guns firing in uh, into here. You've got a good image of the bed profile here uh, and any air airports um, uh, are monitored here. Uh, this is fairly typical uh, of, a, of a pulp and paper process. Um, I mean, I won't watch the whole video, but in the next video, I've got a coal-fired um, boiler with superheater tubes, which I think is uh, what a lot of you guys are looking for. Um, so this is a, a picture of that, you know, or a video of that. So here you can, you can identify any of the slagging going on here um, and any build-up uh, on these tubes. Um, See, this is a running plant, and uh, you can see the the slight haze that is uh, is obviously the process itself. Uh, this can be adjusted with um, various uh, um, uh, options on on a, on a control unit, and uh, certainly on the uh, exposure. I thought I had another video in there. So it's just a short extract of M560 um, reference lists. I uh, don't know if you can see it clearly. Yeah, maybe just about. So um, this is just a uh, it's just a, a, a small extract of, uh, of various references where we've supplied. Obviously, the main of it was in uh, America. This is where the the unit was first released uh, a few years ago now, um, and uh, mainly in recovery boilers. Um, uh, with the occasional power boiler. Um, in recent years, we've started to supply outside of America, into South America, into Asia. Um, there's uh, a few in uh, in New Zealand uh, and bits and pieces like that. So um, these are all installed and, and running uh, M560 cameras. So. In addition to the M535, uh, M560 camera, this is what I touched on previously. Um, sometimes there's a requirement where there's a visible light um, viewing application. Um, if that's the case, then we can offer this as a kind of sister product, which will um, monitor any any visible light viewing applications where infrared is, is not necessarily required. Um, it's got a... a, a Pretty simple camera, which um, which allows for a quick, easy monitoring. Both of these cameras, obviously, are through wall cameras with um, uh, air cooling being provided uh, for, for the enclosure and the lens. Uh, so essentially, the, the the air is is sent up the lens and out out of here. Uh, at the end of the lens, the the design of the camera is to keep that end of that lens window clear of debris. Uh, obviously, that's a that's an issue that you you would come across if you didn't purge the the lens. Not only would it overheat, it would uh, it would it would clog up and um, and obscure the image quite quickly. Again, just an example of the data sheet of the M five three five. Um, it can be found on the on the on the website or via uh, Toshniwal. Um, uh, we'll be able to provide any of this. Uh, same same kind of. Um, same kind of uh, options with the uh, lens length and field of view. Um, these can be um, not only straight viewing, these can be offset angle viewing. So uh, they can view left, right, um, up or down, depending on the location. Uh, this is just a, a typical image of a 535 in a bark boiler. Um, it gives you, a, obviously there's a, a lot of light available in here and uh, and hence, uh, 535 was chosen here. If you wanted to monitor, monitor the tubes, then um, it's probably easier on this side. If you wanted to see through the flame to the other side, then a, a 560 or uh, a similar product, an M540, would uh, would do that job. Um, but they can run in, conduct, in, in conjunction. Uh, so the 535 is sometimes used as a, a camera to monitor the, the initial firing of a uh, of the process, uh, and once the process is running, then the M560 should be able to um, uh, should be able to monitor the uh, the, the rest of the, the process.
Uh, so that's that's the 560 now. Um, appreciate it. there's probably quite a lot of questions, so I've left uh, a reasonable amount of time uh, for you to ask any questions. Thank mm -hmm. you.